To design a jukebox based on the Beatles' Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album was quite a responsibility. The album is arguably one of the most popular albums ever recorded, and the artwork by Peter Blake is as iconic as you can get. The first thing to do was to set about and look at the artwork that we were given, see which bits we could use, which bits we wanted to incorporate into the design, and see how it would fit in environment of a jukebox. Um, it's easy when you're doing an album cover, it's just 12 inches flat, but jukebox is 3D, you've got sides and you've got an interior, you've got a mechanism, you've got a front grille, you've got a lot of components to think about, um, and it's not as easy to be able to adapt the artwork to go on it. So a lot of time was spent going through the artwork, placing it in the templates that we have to create elements for the jukebox. Once we'd got those, we cut them out of paper and a lot of time was spent in the mock-up stage. We had to stick a lot of A3 pieces of paper together, cut them out, put them physically on the jukebox and see how they fit and how they looked. And then going through, adjusting the sizes of things, moving things slightly out, slightly in, resizing things, moving things around. Uh, and getting the general jukebox artwork ready to be signed off by Apple Corp. Looking through the artwork files we received from Apple Corp, we wanted the interior to feature a 3D look with the Beatles themselves standing forward over the vinyl mechanism, just like the original photograph was set up. You don't get that impression on the album, but imagine looking at it when the photograph was taken with the cardboard cutouts behind the Beatles. That's the sort of thing that we wanted to incorporate into the jukebox design. The sign-off element takes a long time, but once they were happy with what we'd done, it was time to actually turn the mock-ups and the rough artwork into actual components. Each graphical component is printed in a different way. So screen print, dye sublimation, digitally printed vinyl, acrylic, glass, wood, they're all incorporated into the graphic design. Each graphic is checked to ensure that the colours are correct regardless of the material that they're printed on. Everything is precisely cut by hand. The side cabinet graphics are printed onto a durable adhesive vinyl and is then covered in a matte laminate. The interior component graphics were to be adhered to four separate plates. They needed to be cut in such a way that when they were placed together back in the cabinet, the artwork would appear seamless. This was quite a big process and the fact that we needed to put bleed on the right areas, oversize them, but still print them with enough bleed that when we trimmed them, they would still match up perfectly. Meanwhile, the rocket style cabinet has been manufactured in our wood shop and sprayed in red, ready to receive the side graphics. 
Once the side graphics have been applied, the cabinet is ready to be fitted with all its working components. 